What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today with more Scrap Mechanic and today we're going to play Dwarfster Ball which is just about the coolest game since mini golf. Now we only played the first level of this when we first looked at it but there are seven levels in total and in fact I was working on something completely different which just got completely butchered so I feel like a nice way to relax would be to calm down and play an epic game of Dwarfster Ball. Last time I made the mistake of welding this to the ground Turns out you're not supposed to do that. Um, if you just, yeah, no, there we, okay. Yeah, well, yeah, it, yeah, oh boy. Okay, is it, oh, okay, any, any time now. All right, perfect. So this mechanism actually follows the ball. And as we move the mouse, you can see it actually is using a camera controlled system. It's just it, mad advanced. If we press WSAD, we actually control the ball. And as we rotate, it changes the orientation for the ball. So if we're rotating this way and we're holding A, the ball will always strafe relative to our camera. It's just a really, really cool system, which basically means you can play it first person here and uh, we can just move around. This is actually really ridiculously awesome. Now, this isn't really like mini golf because we're just kind of steering the ball. We're really driving it almost, but I'm not sure how advanced these levels will get. So we'll see what happens. It's just really, really cool how this camera, um, it just follows it perfectly. And then of course, as the ball changes height, the camera changes height too. It's just a really, really cool system. I really have to learn how to use minis mods so much better because this is just insane. I mean, this is like, it feels like you're getting one of those like, helicopter news shots after a freeway chase or something um but here we go we're gonna go roll down here it's very careful okay it's perfect the ball's still affected by gravity a little bit it seems and there we go look at that level one now it doesn't it doesn't really it doesn't really do anything else so i guess we just leave the ball there and spawn in stage number two it's the exact same the stage one okay we just get back in our oh boy okay we get back in our seat and we go back up this is, this is literally the... Oh, I see. Okay, you took out the fences at the top. Well, that's not even that much more difficult. I mean, we just, you know, we just go up. Perfect. Back up into this. I love this camera. I got to learn how to make one of these myself. This is so cool. Put some spud guns on this with a turret and you can just destroy people so quickly. All right. Oh, no. What? What? What is that? Okay. Well, that's fine. Still made it. No problem. Stage two, easy mode. This looks awesome. This stage right off the bat. So stage three. The only thing I wonder is obviously this is us controlling the ball with WASD, right? So we can slow it down. We can speed it up and we can generally control the movement of it. But I wonder if you could make a system like this with the same kind of control over the ball, except with an actual mini golf style of thing. So you give the ball an impulse and it moves for a period of time. Uh, and you're not actually having direct control over it. Oh boy, that was close. Okay, so how are we gonna... I can't even see where the bridge is here. We gotta go underneath. But I feel like you could use this same kind of system with Minis Mod. I don't even know where the ball is. Is it? Oh, it made it. Look at that. Amazing. But yeah, there's definitely gotta be a way to use this kind of system and make a mini golf style of game. Um, I mean, if you can control the ball with a script this perfectly then you can definitely control the ball with a script that hits it with like a burster block style of thing, I would think. All right. Perfect, we roll down. Oh, 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 I can't make it, what? Okay, we need momentum, I guess. We need momentum to make it around that corner. That's a little bit difficult. All right, back up the elevator we go. Definitely let me know what you guys think of this in the comments down below. If you do want to check this out, I'll include... I think Mini has them all as a workshop collection, so I'll include the link to that in the description below. They are really, really cool. And you could just build your own levels. The ball control mechanism, that's all inside the seat thing that we have floating around here. The levels themselves are all just their own sort of like ramps and all that thing. So Mini's already done the hard work and made the flying ball control thing. And all we really have to do is build our own levels. So if you do want to do that, definitely check it out on the workshop. I, oh, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, finally. That was a really, really, oh no, there's a trough. Okay, we can make it out this. We're good, we're good, we're good. Roll up, come on, there we go, up here. Another trough there. Up this way, come on, over. Don't fall off, there we go, perfect. And then straight down into the finish. Oh, that level was very, very difficult awesome stuff 
All right, stage five looks kind of crazy. It looks like it's got some moving stuff. But like I said, each level you can see is its own contained unit. The ball is just an object. We can't really delete that or touch it. But all the hard work is done in this seat, which you can easily just download from Minnie's Workshop. So really, really cool stuff if you want to make your own kind of dwarfster ball course. All right, so I think we got to line up as straight as possible in the middle and then just book it straight across. Maybe, maybe get a side view on this. No, that's not going to help. Is there a way to zoom in? Wouldn't it be cool if you could zoom in? Okay, speed. Straight across, straight across. Turn, 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 turn. No, no, no. Does does it count if I'm on here? I don't I don't think that does anything. All right, here we go. Attempt number two. I think we got to go along this side piece right here. Just here and then turn in and then turn in. There we go. Perfect. Okay, we made it. We made it. It's actually easier than I thought. All right, and then this piece, um, oh, it just rocks back and forth? Oh, okay, that's easy. I thought it did full rotations. If it did... Maybe it's not as easy as I thought. This is actually really, really fun. The first levels were just too easy. I mean, they're just like ramps and stuff, but these levels with the moving stuff, this actually gives you, like, you would never be able to do this with a mini golf style. So it kind of makes sense that you have direct control over the ball um, I just, I just drove right off that. I don't even know what I was doing. All right, here we go. We're just gonna get some speed. Stay on the one side. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. Stay over there. No, stay. Get over. It's fine. We're good. We're good. We're good. We made it. Okay, now this one rocks. So we gotta go right in the middle. And then try and counter the rocking. Oh, what? It's too much? All right. We're gonna make it this time. So this part, we just go quickly. Perfect. Okay, we made that. Okay, and then we need to go as far back here as we can. Line up, get enough speed. And we need to time this just right. Just like this. There we go. No, it was a little too much. Oh, right idea, but just where are we stuck? Out. There we go. All right. I, I'm feeling it this time. I'm feeling it. This has got to be like attempt number 100 at least. We've been doing this for so long, but I'm going to make it. This part is the worst. And it just, it rotates too slowly. And I, I don't know how to get across this. Okay, so we got to like time it. Whew. Okay, here we go. Just like this. And now, no, 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 no. So it... No, it was too much. All right, I officially hate this mini game now. I'm pretty sure Mini, when he built this level, he didn't even test it himself. He's just like, you know what? We're just gonna build a level that in theory is possible to do, but I don't even bother trying to test it because no one's gonna try and beat this. It's it's so difficult. I can't make it past the second section. I've been at this for way too long. I don't even want to tell you guys how long it's been. It's just been too long, and every time that happens i can't do it i just can't do it i don't know how to beat that second section stupid all right it's just me and you rolling sausage of doom <gasps> oh my god we did it yes we did it oh it was so close okay okay we just gotta not screw up any other part of this this is obviously too steep so we have to go on to the individual um, flat sections. I think I think that's how we go. So we're just gonna roll down here, and hold hold the up. Okay, okay, and then roll hold up. Oh, this is this is perfect. Okay, hold up. Okay, hold up. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! I can taste the victory. Hold up! Don't die. Okay, okay, okay. And we're just gonna go straight. We're just gonna go straight. Just gonna go straight. Stay on the thing. Stay on the thing. Stay on the- <gasps> You gotta be kidding me! Alright, let's- let's do this. We got this. This first section, no problem. No problem. Perfect. Alright, let's rotate around. Let's line up for the second section. I've only done this once successfully, but I feel like we're going to get it this second time. No problem. Here we go. Alright, we'll just loop that way. Yes, yes. Right on the edge. Don't even care. Don't even care. Don't even care. <gasps> oh my goodness. We just did like a combo piece. That was awesome. It worked though. So we're just gonna, we're gonna go with it. Uh-oh. Don't fall down too quick. Okay. Okay, that kind of worked. Alright, you know what? Let's just, let's just go sideways here. Go perfectly straight. Perfectly straight. Oh my goodness. There we go. Finally. Oh. 
This level is the worst. That rotating piece in the middle is the worst part of this entire level. Really cool, but absolutely horrible. That was stage 1-5. All right, so we got two left. 1-6. Here we go. This looks... It's got like a Plinko. This doesn't look as bad. You know what? I feel like this is this is much more doable than the last one. So here we go. We go up. I don't understand what's hard about this. We just got to go to the right and then the left, I guess, to get into the... Oh, oh, I oh I see. That's what's hard about it. Okay, I, I see. This camera control flyer thing is super cool, though. It honestly makes Scrap Mechanic feel like it's not the same game anymore. Like, you're, you're Mr. Ball now, and you're playing Ball Mechanic, and you're just trying to get through all these different levels. Here we go. Okay, slow down. There we go. Perfect. All right, now we got to go up this ramp, which obviously we can't do. Um, so what does this red thing do? That, what? How did it do that? What? I, my mind is blown. What the heck just happened? It just like spun and then our ball, like, did it spin the ball for us? It must like spin the ball a bunch. And then as soon as it, yeah, and then as soon as it lets go, the ball has this massive forward spin. That's such a cool mechanism. Oh, that's amazing. Just that little mechanism is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, well, great level. That's so cool. The final level I already hate. I mean, it's got, it looks like there's a teeter-totter and then some weird snaky bit and then this. This looks terrible. It's really, really cool that uh, Minnie's mod lets you make this kind of simple control system. I mean, I have no idea how it works, to be perfectly honest. I'm gonna have to ask him to explain the whole thing to me in a lot of detail, but... Really, really cool stuff, and uh, this mini game is awesome. Such a cool mini game. All right, here we go. Do we? We didn't even need to use the teeter totter. Maybe we just drove off the end of it. Whatever, that works. This level, it seems easy. Oh, this whole thing's rotating. What? I didn't even notice. Okay, sure. Oh wait, it just free rotates. Okay, okay, and then this. I mean, this we just drive right across. It's actually easier than I thought. Oh, well, that was, that was dumb. All right. Well, I'm just going to beat this last level here. It shouldn't be too much of a problem, but definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Which level did you think was the coolest? I personally thought the red booster was awesome. I mean, it just wasn't expected, you know, spin your ball and launch it. I think that's such a cool system, but uh, definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And of course you can check out this on the workshop. I'll include a link to that in the description and you know you just need this control mechanism and you could make your entire own course and you could do whatever you want so really really cool stuff but uh just absolutely awesome you know that's not that's not uh i forgot to slow down all right super elevator here we go up the super elevator check teeter-totter of doom here we go check Free floating bridge, make sure to slow down. Slow it down. Okay, barely, but we did it. And then we go across here, make sure to slow down at the end of this one. Perfect. And then we go to the finish. Amazing. What a cool mini game. Really, really cool stuff. But definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And of course, if you do beat these levels in a much quicker time than me, let me know. Total recording time. I know this is going to be edited down to a video, but the total time it took me to beat all levels unedited, just so you guys know, is about 31 minutes. So if you can beat all seven levels in less than 31 minutes, uh, then you're definitely a more skilled Dwarfster Ball player than me. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. While you're at it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see y'all next time.